Hello, and welcome to The Discriminating Gamer. Once upon a time, there was light in The Discriminating Gamer's life, but now there's only love in the dark. There's nothing it can say. A total... Total... It'll come to me. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, today I don't want to talk to you about a board game, per se. I want to talk to you about a movie about board games, a documentary that has recently come out called The Next Great American Game. The Next Great American Game, from filmmaker Douglas Morse, is all about the board gaming industry, and it's told through the eyes of an aspiring board game designer by the name of Randall Hoyt. Now, Randall Hoyt is a fellow who came up with a game that he is convinced is going to be the next great American game, and it was called Turnpike. And Turnpike is a game based on traffic and traffic patterns and using traffic to screw over other players. Well, he is convinced this game is going to be huge, but of course, he's got to get it in front of the right people. So the film essentially follows Randall taking the prototypes in front of various board game publishers. He goes to conventions, he goes to various uh, other places to find these uh, publishers, and he puts this game in front of him and he tries to sell the game. And he comes to realize that designing a game and selling a game very often are different things. It's the age-old question of the artist versus the, the business person. Now, Randall is quite candid about his battles with mental illness. He's bipolar, and he's, he's very upfront talking about this and the problems it's brought in his life and how he's tried to overcome these problems. And these do make up some of the most engaging parts of the film. Uh, having him talking about his personal life and some of these problems that he's had to overcome was, was very, very interesting. But really, the core of the game is about the industry. It's about how publishers select games they want, what they're looking for, what they think will sell, and why. It's a very, very, very interesting, interesting topic. And as we see Randall meeting with all these people and being rejected and rejected and rejected, he has this optimism that's somewhat infectious. And you find yourself kind of rooting for the guy. And I've got to be blunt, I haven't played the game, the Turnpike, and I don't know that it looks like a game that, that I would be interested in playing. I mean, I would certainly give it a shot, but I don't know that it's a game that, that would really thrill me. Um, interesting statistic, I think it was something like less than 2% of films that were made in Nazi Germany were propaganda films. 98% of the films produced in Nazi Germany were like these light romantic comedies or these mountain adventures. And that was because Joseph Goebbels, the demonic minister of propaganda knew when people go to the movies they don't want to see a movie about politics right they go for escapism and that's one of the reasons i think why people play board games is for a sense of escapism not to fight traffic which is something you do in your real life that's that's not all that exciting in real life still as i say randall's optimism drags you in and and, and it has you rooting for him throughout the game this was a thoroughly enjoyable uh, documentary. I really, really got a kick out of it. And I got to tell you, anybody who is even remotely interested in designing a board game or learning about how board games go from that process of, of being designed to actually being published really, really needs to check out this game. This, game, er, this, this film. This film was made for you. Uh, it was enjoyable. And even if you're not designing a game, if you're at all interested in these processes that occur... Uh, in the industry, you're going to want to check this out. The film also comes with extras, including interviews with some very influential people in the board game industry. There's uh, interviews with Klaus Teuber, Steve Jackson, Richard Garfield, and many, many more. And they're all offering some great insights into who they are, what they do, and kind of the state of the industry today. So the recommendation for the Discriminating Gamer for the next great American game is buy it. Thank you once again for joining us today on The Discriminating Gamer. As always, we ask you to please leave a comment here on YouTube, on Board Game Geek, on our Facebook page, on thediscriminatinggamer.com. We also ask you to please like us on Facebook and subscribe to us on YouTube. We are The Discriminating Gamer, the next great American board game review show. Please somebody help me, on my feet again, and I don't know where I'm going, and I don't know where I've been. Please somebody help me, on the solid ground, it's a long time.
Eric. What a douche. Hello? Hello? 